Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a fun unboxing video for you. So today we are unboxing the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Mine came all kinds of messed up and busted open, um, so I don't know what that's about. We have the regular Ipsy bag for this month in November. We have the base box for BoxyCharm, and we also have the Tri Beauty box to unbox for you. So today, we're unboxing all four of these from three different brands. We're going to compare, see what I like the most, see what's happening, see what's good, what was disappointing this month. And without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, if I have affiliate links for any of these, which I believe I have affiliate links for all of these, I will leave a link down below if you want to sign up. So. Now let's get started. We're going to start off with the BoxyCharm Base Box. Okay guys, BoxyCharm Base Box is $25 a month. It is an every month subscription service. And I was gifted this in exchange for the review. So here's the inside of the Base Box. I actually really love the black and kind of pinky red packaging they're doing right now. And we have a coupon for Natasha Denona inside. So 25% off. There is the code in the boxy if you want to save on Natasha Denona. Also, this month's theme is Harvest, which is very fitting. Oh, look, it matches my new hair. <laughs> so the Harvest, it also tells us what's inside as well as the retail prices. I will also let you know the retail price, like the retail value of these items as we go through it. So let's go ahead and get started. This box looks really colorful on the inside. So let's start off with this orange thing. So this is from Yensa. We've gotten a primer from them before. This is a pumpkin turmeric two-in-one radiance polishing mask plus eight super orange essence. So this is the first thing in here. So we have a polishing mask. This retails for $45 retail price. So that's really expensive. And I feel like the pumpkin is very fitting for November, kind of like the harvesty season and the theme. So I feel like that's a really great pick for BoxyCharm, even if polishing masks aren't really my thing. Next, let's do this bright green item in here from Peach and Lily. This is a Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser to deep cleanse and soothe. This is what it looks like um, from Peach and Lily. This retails for $28. I want to see what kind of... Uh, oh, it's a squeezy tube. I wanted to see if it was like a pump or something, but it's a squeezy tube. Why is it in a green and orange box and then it's pink and white? I don't know. This retails for $28 and... So it's two skincare things so far. I'm not super disappointed by it, but I'm not like overly enthused. Let's move on to this next thing in here. I don't know if we can see there's like a little tubey down here, which is little. This is from Alomar Cosmetics, just because I know their logo. This is a Pero Primo, Primero Primer. It is a longwear sticky pigment base. So it's an eye primer from Alomar. This retails for $15. There's no seal on it, so I'm going to see what kind of sticky base we have if it's colored. Okay, so it is it is colored. It has a tint to it. So it is kind of just like a regular flesh tone color. Swatched out. I just want to see how sticky it gets. It does kind of dissolve into the skin and does leave a nice sticky base. So this might be a really good eyelid primer. I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'll let you guys know. Maybe I can use it in like a tutorial soon. Ooh, it's very sticky. It's very sticky in texture. So the next thing is from Alamar. Very small. But, I mean, Alomar is a brand everyone's always excited to see in a subscription box, so I'm not disappointed by that at all. And it's the first makeup-y thing. Next up in here is something on the side from Milk Makeup. I don't even know if you actually see that when I was holding that. But this is a Kush Waterproof Mascara, the full size. I have tried this many times. I actually find that the mini is better than the full size. Here's the packaging up close. This retails for, I believe, $24. And this is in blue packaging. Ooh. Oh, this is the waterproof version. So the regular comes in like a silver packaging. This is very heavy metal. It's super cold to the touch. But this is the waterproof Kush mascara. The wand on this is super big and fluffy as well. I'm not going to open it just so it doesn't dry out on me immediately. But it's really cool to have. I don't really use waterproof mascaras that much. But at least I have one if I need one, you know. Lastly in here is a little box. Which I believe I know what this is. So yes, it says Peak Palette on it. So this is from Natasha Denona. This retail value is $48 for a little five pan eyeshadow palette. I wish it didn't come in this box, but I guess it is to protect it. So I already have this. I have a tutorial on my Instagram using this palette, but here is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette with five different shades. It's a really simple neutral palette. Honestly, the quality of it is really nice. It's not like my favorite palette in the absolute world, but the quality is really good. And I mean, I like it in the boxy charm because $48 for this seems like a lot. But when I'm paying $25 for the box with all this stuff in it, I feel like it's not as bad. So let's go for everything that we got in our boxy charm this month. 
So we have a Natasha Denona Peak Palette, which retails for $48. We have an Alomar Cosmetics Eyeshadow Base, which retails for $15. We have a Milk Mascara Waterproof Milk Makeup Waterproof Kush Mascara, which retails for $24. We have a deep cleanser, which retails for $24, $24, $28. And we have this Yensa pumpkin turmeric polishing mask, which retails for $45, which is a lot, but it really doesn't match the theme. So overall, this is what was inside of the BoxyCharm this month. Pretty good. I really could do without these two things, but I just have a lot of skincare right now. That's maybe why. These three things I think is really nice. So overall, pretty happy with BoxyCharm. And now let's move on to the Ipsy mini bag. Okay, so in our little mini small bag from Ipsy this month, we have a cute bag. This is the bag you get because you get a bag every month. You also get a bag in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus too, so I have a lot of bags. But, ooh, okay. I'm just going to take everything out, which just be easier. This first thing is from Glow Recipe. Oh, I've wanted this. I've wanted this for so long, but I want the full size, not the sample size. I need to get the full size of this, but it's super expensive. I can't wait to smell this. So it is a Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I can't wait to smell it. Is there a seal on it? Okay, I was like, why can't I smell it? I wanna smell it so bad. It smells like banana. Oh. Okay, it's so like, I love banana scented stuff, right? But a lot of banana scented stuff smells so fake. Like there's a lot of lotions and stuff at TJ Maxx, I'm always in there smelling, but they smell fake. This smells good. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any of this. I'm so excited. This is better than anything with BoxyCharm right now. Honestly, I know it's a sample size, but I love banana scented stuff and I've wanted to try this for so long. So uh, this is immediately going as my Alex Shores Be Used. We have a banana cream. Oh, I'm so excited about that one. I know it seems dumb and it's just a sample, but like I really love banana scented stuff. Next up in here, I've had this before. This is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. It is just a cleanser. I mean, honestly, it's just a little squeeze bottle. You're gonna squeeze a little bit of product out at the little circle in the center and it's like a gel cleanser it's fine it's not like super amazing but it's great for travel next up we have a mini anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in the shade moon jelly which honestly like so far these are amazing brands oh here's the gloss it's a, a white with some pinky sparkles in it so a mini gloss from anastasia honestly this mini Ipsy bag, usually it's like samples, like I've ever heard of some of it so far. So good. Next up is from Aiko. It's a Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara in Beatnik Black. This is really cute as well. I think it's a nice small tube. I'm not going to open it so it doesn't dry out, but we have a little mini mascara. And then lastly, this is big. This is from Tarte Sugar Rush Collection. So it's like their Sugar Rush line from Tarte. And it's a Lip Sip Lip Sip vegan lip oil why was it hard for me to say and this is in the shade of fresh press which appears to be kind of an orange shade so overall that's in the ipsy mini bag this was so good like i usually just pay for the ipsy glam bag plus but like i want to like i don't know i want more of these little bags so we have a mini glow recipe banana souffle cream a cleanser from tatcha a lip oil from tart and sugar rush we have an aiko mini mascara as well as a mini lip gloss which honestly i don't ever wear lip gloss so like this is probably would last me forever if i wanted to use it but honestly that this is what's inside and you get the bag of course the Ipsy little mini bag this month. So good. I've heard of all these brands. So I'm actually really excited about this. And the banana thing. So let's move on to the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus now and see if that's even better. All right, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I don't know what this has been through. This seems to have been through a lot lately. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Look how this is like broken. Okay, so <laughs> this appears to be kind of open. I'm just going to put this box down just because it's falling apart. But let's go ahead and start with the first thing, which is from Kate Somerville. It is a goat milk. I really like goat milk products, especially Beekman 1802. Um, but this is goat milk condition and restore moisturizing cream. So we have like a little goat milk lotion here. Oh, this is cute. There's the packaging on the inside too, which is very clean and nice. I'm going to smell it. Yeah, it smells very... Uh, clinically and it's super liquidy looking in there so this is the goat milk moisturizing cream which is the first thing in our box next thing in here is a brush so this is from MOTD which is a brush company and it is the perfect 10 just a big powder brush oh we have more brushes in here actually let me grab that so this is a 
Farah brush set. I don't know why we need this brush in here if we have a brush set. It's kind of odd. Um, but this is a B Beautiful BU Farrah brush set. These have really nice handles. They look really pretty and they're silver. So we have five eye brushes in here. These look really pretty. I'm really into these. These are super cute. I'm speeding through this. I don't know. I think I just spent too long on that souffle. <laughs> Next up is another thing from Farrah. I don't know this. Oh, okay. So this is a Farrah, which makes brushes. Typically, it's what I've seen from them. A Matte Boss Liquid Lip Pigments. So we have three different colors in here. So we have three liquid lipsticks from Farrah in here, and these are really heavy. Like, they have some weight to them, but none of these colors are, like, my go-tos. I probably wear this one the most, honestly, just because it is more of the cooler tone of the three. But these are, like, heavy, and they have some weight to them. I really thought Farrah was mostly a brush brand. Let's see what's next. Oh, next up we have the bag for the month, which matches the little mini bag. So this is just a small makeup thin bag, which is great, and it kind of cinches here so this is the bag for the ipsy glam bag plus this month following that we have something from prestique which trustee has never really impressed me personally but this is a good vibes mascara curler and lash enhancing mascara so so far i've gotten three mascaras today which is a lot um i've gotten this before it has like this little this little thing up here is a lash curler it kind of presses i've gotten this before i really think it was an ipsy too i'm not really sure but a Trustique mascara is the next thing. Followed by one small thing here from Violet Voss. I like Violet Voss eyeshadows actually. So this says it's a six color eyeshadow impressed pigment palette. I have no idea what colors this is. It doesn't even have a title on the box anywhere. So let me open it up and see. I hate that I had to break the box to get it open. Okay, oh, okay, again, there's no name anywhere on this thing for the name of the palette it just says six color eyeshadow palette so this is it i think the color inside is really cute i like the pop of pink and the pop of orangey corally shade here i like this light champagne shimmer shade i just wish i could tell you the name of this palette because it doesn't have a name on the palette which is really annoying but honestly the peach with the corals and the neutral colors is really nice this is a really cute palette i like violet boss's quality and this would be a really good travel palette for me because i do do orange looks and browns and I always throw that kind of shimmer on the lid. So let's go over everything we got in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. We have a little mini eyeshadow palette from Violet Voss, three matte liquid lipsticks from Farah. Also from Farah, we have a five piece silver brush set, which looks really pretty. We have a Trastique full size mascara. We have a Kate Somerville goat milk uh, moisture cream. We have a random MOTD powder brush as well as the bag for this month. So overall, this is everything that was in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I do think it's definitely worth the value. I, I feel weird about having two separate things of brushes. It's kind of odd. But honestly, it's mostly makeup this month, and I'm pretty happy with it. So let's move on now to the Tri Beauty Box. All right, so I've missed a couple of these unboxings because they did not update my shipping address. So I apologize about that. But it's my first time unboxing them in a while. So... I have the card here which tells us what's inside and I will also tell you the retail prices of these things as we go through. And now, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna break this thing open. I see something to mature right away. Okay, first off, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. First thing is from Suva Beauty, which I don't buy from anymore and no, I haven't explained it and no, I don't want to because people call me judgy, but it is the Suva Beauty Glossy Lamination Liquid Lipstick. So this is this. Um, this retails for $18 retail price, and it comes in this really cool dark vampy color. So let me see what the actual liquid lipstick looks like. This is called Illusionist is the shade. Lip lamination sounds funny, but it's like a liquid lipstick that doesn't dry down like super, super dry. And I wish this was the color I got, but it's kind of a berry tone. So it's a little misleading on the box, but retail value $18, and they are very comfortable liquid lipsticks. Next up in here. LA Splash. I haven't tried them. They have like monster lashes. I don't know if they still have it, but they have like classic horror lashes that were on like Nordstrom Rack for a while and I really wanted them, but I didn't want to pay for shipping. So this is from LA Cosmetics. It is a Luminous Liquid Metals in Trickery. So let me open this up and see what it is. Okay, so this is a double-ended kind of thing. So we have like a pink metallic on this side and Oh, a felt, a huge felt tip liner on this side. I was like, what is this? So we have a double ended eyeliner here. This retails for $18. 
And I guess since I already swatched it, let me swatch the glittery end too. Oh, it's it's very liquidy, very see-through. Not, I mean, I went blah, blah, blah to get it on the hand, but it's very liquidy. Um, so here is the glittery side. It's very wet looking, but not as much glitter as I would expect personally, but it is a very pretty color. I would definitely get a lot of use out of this because I love the sparkly pink color. So this retails for $18 and I'm super excited about this one. Because I need a new eyeliner, y'all. I mean, I went to the Glam Light Color Repeat Liner, which I'm in love with, but I don't have another one. And then I opened that Charlotte Tilbury one, and I'm super unimpressed. So I'm going to use that one and see how I like that, because I do need another eyeliner. Next up in here, we have something from Earth Harbor, which I haven't heard of before. This is called the Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Apple Red Algae Plant Stem Cells Anti-Pollution thing. So it's like a serum. So this is it up close. This retails for $48, which is a great retail value. Um, I'm not really sure if I believe in the anti-pollution stuff. I feel like I want to. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. Um, but I don't really know if it's necessary, but this looks beautiful. I kind of like it. Like, it looks kind of like a really bright blood, like a watered down blood that's not super dark. I don't know. That sounds creepy to say. <laughs> Next up in here is something from Drawer Cuts. I know what this is. Draw Cosmetics. It is their clean canvas eye base. This is awesome. Like this is a really great product. It's one of my favorite eye bases right now. I think it might be my favorite eye base. This one is in the shade Fair, which is my shade. That's my favorite one. I'm actually going to show you mine so you can see it. So the eye base comes in these cute little containers, which their buttercream lip uh, thing also comes in, lip, lip scrub. I do find this super messy. Like it is don't focus on me, focus on the jar. It's super messy, it gets all over the lid, it gets all over the container, it's messy, right? But I usually just take it off the lid. And it's like a tinted eyeshadow base, so this is what it looks like. It really just blends out, gives a really nice even coating, a slight tackiness, not super sticky, which I really appreciate, and it gives a light tackiness to the skin or the eyelid when you're really doing a nice look. You can also use this to carve out a cut crease and it looks magnificent, so I'm really happy to have the clean canvas base in here. It's a great product. Lastly in here, it looks like a palette. So this is from Pure. This retails for, oh, it's an anti-defense, anti-pollution palette. I was like looking at the card to see what it's, it retails for $34. Oh no, no, it looks like some people got the classic horror eyeshadow palette in these boxes. I want the classic horror eyeshadow palette. All right, I am coated in eyeshadow right now. I opened this up and it broke all over me. So this shade came out, this shade and this shade are all over my lap right now. Um, it's everywhere and it's sparkly. So I'm gonna toss this. So this was the color scheme in the palette. Um, yeah, honestly, it was inside this, but it was with everything else. It really should have been double packed safely. Um, this retailed for $34. Now I really wish I had the classic horror palette. Ugh, okay. It happens. It happens. It just, I'm just sitting in like huge chunks of eyeshadow and I'm not really happy about it. Anyways, you guys, let's go over everything we got in the Try Beauty box. So we got this palette, which I'm not going to talk about again because it upset me and I'm coated in it. We have a double-ended LA Splash metallic liner, which is really pretty. We have a Jar Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base and Fair, which I adore. We have an anti-pollution serum, which I'm not really feeling just because I don't know if it works. We have a Suva Beauty liquid lipstick. as um, Yeah, and that's it. So um, pretty good month for Try Beauty box. I'm just a little upset about the palette spilling all over me, like all over me. <laughs> I'm scared to move, but like, um, the drawer cosmetics base, super, super nice. I'm actually really going to use this LA splash liner and I love liquid eyeshadows too. So I feel like that's going to work out pretty well. I want that classic horror palette. I'm going to see if I can find someone selling it on like Poshmark for cheap because they got it off the box to be cheaper. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Please let me know which box you thought was the best down below. For me, I thought the mini like tiny little bag from Ipsy was really great and the BoxyCharm base box too was really nice. I mean, everything had its ups and downs. I didn't feel like the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was my absolute favorite because we got two different kinds of weird brushes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 
Okay, I'm actually angry right now because it's ruined my chair. Like the eyeshadow ruined my seat. Like I baby wiped and everything, try to scrub all this off. It stained my nice seat on my chair and really mad about it.